Hey guys, what's up? Thanks for checking out my channel. If you're new, don't forget to scroll down and subscribe. Um, so, I'm really excited about today's video. Um, today's video is a little something different for my channel. Um, I was involved in a beauty exchange last night. Um, so what we did was we got together a group of girls and we put our names in like a little container and drew names out and we set a budget to go out and buy beauty products for each other. And it just ended up being four of us, my mom, my sister, and um, my friend. And it was a huge success. I think that everyone was very satisfied with what they received. So I wanted to share with you guys what I received from the Beauty Exchange. First, I got a bag from my mom. She brought every girl a gift, which I thought was just like so sweet and so cute. So we got a little something extra, and I would like to say that I feel like everyone hit the jackpot um, yesterday. So first, there's just like a little cute candy cane in there, and... Then I received a wine glass, and it says, "'Tis the season to stuff the stockings," which is, like, extremely cute. And there is a pair of socks in there. And everyone that knows me knows I love bright, crazy, vibrant colors. So that was perfect, I feel like. I'm going to set this over here. I don't want it to get broken. Um, also, I got a e.l.f. smudge. Um, eyeshadow brush, which you guys know I love e.l.f. I'll definitely be using that. You can never have too many brushes. A bag of Hard Lifesavers candy, which is super cute as well. Also, I got e.l.f. smudge pot in Pearls of Wisdom. It says long-lasting shadow and eyeliner. And it's just like a white base which I feel like would be really good um, to use just like as a base, like kind of like as a primer if you want to put eyeshadow over top of it. I think it'd be good for that. I got Flawless um, Eyeshadow. It's four eyeshadows, and it's Sea Escape, so it's like the nice blues, which I love. And then I got another smudge pot in the color Ocean Bound, which is a pretty blue. And I got... Black Orchid um, Color Mates lipstick, and it comes with like a liner pencil, which I've gotten before. It's supposed to be like clear, but I don't know that it really does anything. It didn't seem like it did. So I just thought that that was really cute that she um, went out of her way to purchase some beauty products and bag them up. Just, you know, something that I feel like was just really sweet of her. So, I'm pretty excited about that. Now, for my beauty person, um, my best friend, Alyssa, actually had me. So, I thought that that was really cool. I got tons of goodies from her, of course. First thing that I got from her is the NYX Liquid Suede um, Cream Lipstick in the color Stone Fox. And I'm actually wearing that on my lips today. It is a very gorgeous gray color. I wanted it so bad, so I'm glad that I received that from her. The next thing we're going to get into is this Beauty um, Gems 162-piece um, palette here. And I'm going to open it up and just show you guys because I'm so in love with this palette. Like, I literally cannot wait to get my hands into it. It says on the back here that it includes 138 eyeshadows, 18 lip colors, 3 blushes, 2 highlighter, and 1 bronzer, and 4 cosmetic applicators, which you know I will not use those sponge applicators. But first, the, at the top there's a really huge mirror. And there's some shadows here. And it looks like, you know, like cool tones, warm tones, bright colors. So that's really nice. And then you slide it open here. And these are all matte shades here in the middle, which are really nice. And you continue to open it on each side. And on this side, 
you have lipstick and um, this looks like kind of like a matte good um, color for our uh, for contouring and then it looks like a bronzer and a highlighter and over here you have three blush brush it, blushes dear lord you can tell I'm tired it's after 10 o'clock here and I just had to film this video for you guys um, and then a whole bunch of shimmer colors over here now I'm, I haven't swatched any of these so I will swatch just a couple of them on camera for you guys to see um, the pigmentation you know I like for you guys to see that and so far from my right side it looks like these will be very pretty oh wow they have a lot of pigment to them so that's really nice look at that gorgeous let's see some matte shades here which those look pretty promising as well and they are pretty decent so I'm really excited to use um, this actually I will swatch a few more I'll swatch some of these glitters for you guys because you know I like my shimmers especially right now oh those are just gorgeous the silver didn't really show up, pick up too well. It's up here, but look at that blue that really stood out in the purple, which is really nice. So I can't wait to try it out. I'll definitely review this whole entire palette. Um, it came from Ulta, and I think I said it was a Beauty Treats palette, so that's really exciting. Um, I got the Essence. Um, double XL thick and thin two in one eyeliner pen and it's double sided. So you get one side there and then a thick side there. So you get a thick line and you can do a thin line like so. So I like that. You can never have too many eyeliners. I got my favorite. Um, eyelashes, the Ardell Wispies, so you guys know I love those. And then I got two of these um, Essence Metal Glam Eyeshadows, which I used this one today on the lid. So I actually do like the shadow. I have had this makeup on since 9 o'clock this morning, and it's still wearing. So I didn't have a ton of fallout. Um, you do lose the glitter in there, I feel like. I put glitter of my own on my eyes, so I feel like you lose the glitter from that, but that's okay. Um, I got two NYX high voltage lipsticks, and I got two different purple colors. Uh, 80 and 71, it looks like. This one is called Twisted, and this one is called Playdate, and I'll actually open these for you guys and swatch them on camera. Um, they're just absolutely gorgeous. I've swatched them in um, the store before in Ulta and I just fell in love with them. I feel like they are very good summer shades but for me all the time shades because you know how I am. I like a bright bold crazy look. So they just look like that and again this one is twisted. Very creamy formula very pretty purple. So I'm excited to use these. And then this one is called Playdate. And that's another very pretty purple shade. And that's Playdate. So love these. And then I got a um, NYX Lip Smacking Fun Colors. That's pretty funny. In the color 561. I don't think this has a name on it. But I've also swatched this in the store. Oh, it's called Violet Ray. And it is just gorgeous. Look at that.
right there. So I feel like this is like an, a very good go-to everyday lipstick, which is perfect. You never can have too many of those. So that is my gifts from the beauty haul or the beauty exchange, the beauty haul. I'm looking at the stuff that I hauled because I'm going to share that with you guys in this video as well. Um, but I just feel like we all made out so well and we all got nice new products that we can try out. And there's some products that I have never used before, so that'll be nice as well. It's always nice to receive things that you've never tried. Um, so I was at Target and they had lashes on sale and I've never tried... Um, these lashes before from Isler London and it's like a little starter kit it says a sleek deep a sleek dark tipped lash for a pretty and original look but what caught my attention is that the band is really thin and it looks like that I paid 348 for these um lashes again at Target and they give you like a little practice lash for people who, you know, have never put on lashes before, just need a little help with them, and then you get your set of lashes. So this would be good for those of you who are trying to get into lashes. It would be a nice set. Like I said, what caught my attention is the thin band, so I can't wait to try those out. And then I went to Walmart yesterday because I was Christmas shopping, and I picked up a couple of things that I just wanted to try out, and one of them is the uh, Revlon... 24-hour color stay foundation and it says combination and oily skin and the reason why I got that one even though I'm dry is because I wanted it to be more of a matte finish instead of like a dewy kind of finish so I didn't get the one for the dry skin and in my opinion it's held up pretty well all day long I got the color 400 caramel and it looks like this and it's in a pump so, first impression on this, I actually really like the foundation. I felt like it had good coverage. It is definitely buildable foundation. Like, if you just take a dot or two and you put it on, it is kind of sheer. So, I did put a little more on because you guys know I like a full coverage. But, um, it's definitely 24-hour wear because it's still on my face. And then, I set my face today with the Fit Me um, Set and Smooth Normal to Dry um, Powder. And I did get the color 355 Coconut. As you guys know, I do have the Fit Me Matte and Poreless um, Foundation. And I have it in Caramel Toffee. They don't make... Well, no, yeah, they do. They do make the powder in Caramel Toffee. But here's my thing with powder. The Caramel Toffee looks extremely light. Whereas, look at the coconut. This is like... I mean, if you're looking at it, it kind of looks like classic tan. So I just feel like with powdered or foundation, even if you get the same color, it's not really the same color. And um, I like the Set and Smooth powder. It's not matte. They do make a matte one. But I just feel like it's, it's, it's held on. It's, you know, it's pretty decent. It's pretty good. So I'll keep working with that and trying it out. The other thing that I've been dying to try that I got is the... Um, heavy duty concealer from Hard Cam Candy, the Glamouflage, and it says it covers up tattoos. This is, um, in my opinion, very comparable, like kind of like a dupe for the Kat Von D um, Locket Tattoo Concealer. This is definitely very thick, very heavy. I got mine in the shade medium. When I applied it, I had way too much because it was more than what I was expecting. But I did blend it out, and it blended out very well, and I feel like it gave me the coverage that I liked. I, I used it for highlighting because, you guys know, that's what I use my concealer for. So it held up. I don't have any, like, lines or creasing or anything like that. So that's good. The other product that I used today that I've been wanting to try is the Hard Candy Glow All the Way um, Ombre Baked Blush and Sunburst. I actually used this as my highlighter today because it's very light. Like, look at that. It's, like, pink and white-looking, like, pearl-looking on one side. So I used it as my highlighter, and I feel like it gave me, like, a nice bright glitter 
type of look. I don't know that I like this as a blush because I tried to apply it to my cheeks and I just felt like it made my cheeks shimmery. So I'll probably keep using this as a highlighter because I do like it for that purpose. I've, I've been wanting a pearly looking kind of highlighter and it's held on all day as well. The last items that I picked up are the Poppin' Pig, um, Pigments Hard Candy Glitters and the one set over here is King Me. And it has like a purple and then like a nice like rainbow-ish silver kind of party color, which I think would be awesome for New Year's. And then this one is called Lock and Key. And it has like a pink color. And then like this one looks like it has a little bit of pink and gold in it. And it's really pretty. So I'm excited to try out these glitters because I've been into glitters lately for the holidays. I'm just loving a glitter lid right now. So I'll try those out, and I'll come back, and I'll do a review about those, a review for the eyeshadow palette. And I think that that's it. It is. That's all I got over this weekend, but that's a lot of makeup. So I have a lot of new pr products to play with. I have some orders that are on their way. Um, we have Christmas coming, so how exciting. I don't know if this is going to be my last video for the month or for the year of 2015. Um, I want to do a yearly products video like what products was I loving this year instead of doing a month of December it just seems silly to me I might as well just go over everything that I just love like my holy grail go-to products I would love to share it with you guys we'll see how we do as far as recording and things like that I have a friend coming into town um for the holidays and it's just getting pretty busy now and I have a lot of wrapping to do so I don't know. We'll see. I'll try to squeeze in another video. But thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys for stopping by. I love you guys. Don't forget to subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. Follow me on Twitter, Snapchat, and Instagram. And until next video, I'll see you guys later. Happy holidays if I don't get to film another video for you guys before 2016. I just can't even believe that this year has already come to an end. Again, happy holidays, and I love you guys. Bye.